These are the four ADHD exercise hacks. They're going to have you getting results from exercise, like losing weight, getting strong, having more energy. Let's get started. Do, 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 do. It's my theme song and it changes every time. Hello, my name is Karen. I'm an ADHD fitness and wellness coach and I help you look and feel good naked. I have over six years experience coaching. I'm a certified personal trainer, pro bikini athlete, and I've been using these systems, these hacks that I'm gonna share with you today and the whole mindset piece for over 15 years for myself. And they work and I share them with clients. So trust me, this stuff is tried, tested and true. And I work a little bit differently than most coaches because I focus on the self-sabotaging piece. The newsreel in your head that's telling you you're a failure. You can't stick with anything. Why bother? You know, you're just going to fail at this. I hope you get to the root of that so you can change it and stop getting in your own way. So today I have my four ADHD exercise hacks for you. This is part three of my three-part series on how to start, stick with, and get results from exercise. So make sure you watch parts one and two. I'm going to link them below because these these hacks work only if you do the steps I give you in part one and two, and they're going to make this feel easy and so you can stick to these hacks for the long term. And lastly, make sure you watch the end because number four, hack number four is a biggie. It is literally how I've earned a professional status in bodybuilding, how I'm doing really cool circus acrobatic things in my 30s that I couldn't do in my 20s. It's like my secret to life. So make sure you watch to number four. Let's dive in. Hack number one work out as soon as you get up. Now, this does not mean you have to work out at 5 a.m. This could be 5 a.m. It could be 6 a.m. It could be 9 a.m. It could be one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't care when you get up, but working out as soon as you get up is going to be game changing for you. The reason this works, we know that exercise gives us dopamine. We feel so great after, right? You're energized. You have focus. You feel in control. You just feel happy that high you get from moving your body. But if we leave it for later in the day, there are so many things that can throw us off. You know, we have to pick our kids up early from school. We're tired. We get out of work late. We just tell ourselves we don't want to. We'd rather sit on the couch or the, all the steps involved to, you know, getting your shoes on, going to the gym. is just so overwhelming. We'd rather just not do it. We feel paralyzed. So if we do it as as soon as we get up, it's this anchor point meaning nothing is coming before that that could potentially throw us off track or even before our brain can get going and tell us not to do it. The anchor point is waking up in the morning because you're always going to wake up. I hope you always wake up. I hope this isn't your last night. Oh God, that wouldn't be good. But yes, you're always going to wake up. Use that as your anchor point to then work out. The second reason this works is that I like to call things that we put into our day for dopamine, like scrolling our phone, going on TikTok, going on YouTube, having coffee, having sugar, even your meds, where they're like these easy dopamine hits. It's just like, I know I can do this and get dopamine right away. But they don't serve us. Versus exercise is this dopamine. They're like, this is feeling so good for me. It's like fulfilling me. And I know it's serving me for the long run, but it still gives you that beautiful dopamine to help you feel focused and in control of your day. So do that movement piece, that exercise piece first, so you feel accomplished, you have structure in your day, you have that good fulfilling dopamine, the rest of the day is just going to flow and feel that much easier you got your workout in. Hack number two, find your movement flow. This is the secret to having exercise feel exciting, to feel easy, to be able to challenge yourself and it not feel like it sucks. So you can get results. Now, I talk a lot about this in another video, which I'm going to link below. So make sure you watch that and I go in depth of how to create and find your movement flow. Since your movement flow is finding one or multiple activities that excite you so much, you can't wait to go do them. That they they move your body and you're so focused on the movement, you're so engrossed in it that your mind goes quiet. You are coordinating limbs, you're using your muscles, you're focused on your breathing so much so that it's feels easy to challenge yourself, to push yourself a little bit further because you're in this flow. And when that happens, everything in your brain just goes quiet. That also means you get results from exercise because you're excited to go do it. You're looking forward to pushing yourself a little bit more to see what you can do. And it doesn't suck. So the hack number two is find what your movement flow is. That literally is my secret to having exercise feel fun and easy and getting results from it. 
Hack number three, stick to your fitness system for 12 to 16 weeks. In video two of this series, I talk all about your fitness system, how to create it, what it is. So make sure you go watch that first before this video. So essentially your fitness system is the exercise routine that works for ADHD. It's gonna work for you. It's like your blueprint. It's gonna tell you what to do and when to do it. The reason you need to stick to this for 12 to 16 weeks is because this is gonna prevent you from second guessing. Before you created a workout, you've planned it out, we're good at planning. You do it for one, two, maybe even three weeks, and then you second guess it all. And when you second guess it all, you start to go back down the rabbit hole looking for the perfect workout program and then get stuck in exercise paralysis and you don't do anything. And if you're consistently inconsistent and are in that paralysis stage, you're not getting results. We know we need to consistently do something to get results. So just avoid the second guessing and the paralysis and stick to what you created for 12 to 16 weeks. From a scientific approach, if you practice the same movement, so the same exercise, let's say for example, squats, if you're like every Monday, I focus on doing squats, that means you're making new neural connections in your brain to get better at the movement, which is squats. A reason to tell you this is that you don't even have to work hard to get stronger, to get better at squats. You will literally get stronger just because you're getting more efficient, getting better at doing squats because of new neural connections being made. The only way to do that is to do the same thing repetitively, to do it consistently, do it for at least 12 weeks. If you're always switching it up, you'll never get good at a movement. So you're missing out on that easy progression, that easy strength that literally just comes to you from getting better at the exercise. It's a fun little hack. Okay, hack number four, you guys. This is a biggie, it's a doozy. It's like the secret to my life. I want you to repeat after me. I will ignore all the shoulds. If you follow all of these hacks I share with you today and do the steps I share with you in part one of the series and in part two of creating your systems, I promise you exercise will feel easy. You'll be sticking to it for the long term, getting results and it will feel fun. It won't suck. It won't feel overwhelming. You won't be paralyzed. But what will happen? This will happen. A friend will tell you something or you'll find online something that goes against what you've just created for yourself what I've just told you and that's okay it's gonna happen but what I don't want you to do is then to second guess it all to throw your entire plan to go down the rabbit hole again trying to find that perfect workout program the perfect workout schedule and fall back into exercise paralysis feel so overwhelmed and then do nothing that's what I don't want you to do. And the way not to do that is to ignore all the shoulds. Cause this formula I'm giving you works. I've been using for myself over 10 years. I give it to clients and they are losing weight. They are getting strong. They have more energy to go play with their kids. They feel so confident in their body and they're getting closer to feeling like their authentic self when they show up in the world. They're looking and feeling good naked. This stuff works, but it only works if you ignore all of the other things out there and follow what feels good and right for you and create your own rules. And these steps and these hacks and systems I'm sharing with you and all the mindset is going to show you how to do that. Guys, I've ignored the shoulds most of my life with regards to movement. And that's led to me to doing really fun, cool circus training and doing cool flips and cartwheels that I've never been able to do before. It's led me to becoming a professional in bodybuilding because I ignored all the shoulds. It's honestly made life with ADHD so ridiculously easy because I've created my own rules that feel good and fun to me. So I'm giving you the systems, the hacks, the mindset piece so you can create your own rules for movement that feels good, that feels fun and gets you results. And this works, I promise. Now, to be honest, the majority of you are not gonna follow these hacks. You're not gonna go to videos one and two and implement those strategies. You're not gonna follow the steps I give you in all my other videos. Guys, I'm sharing all of my secrets that I personally use. All the things I share with clients who've had so much success with losing weight, getting strong, feeling and looking good naked. But most of you aren't gonna do this. And the reason you're not is that you're terrified. You're scared that what if I try this and again, it doesn't work. 
because I, I can't stick with things and I feel like a failure or I try another workout program. I create my own workouts and then I don't stick with it and my friends and family will judge me or it's just reinforcing the fact that I can't stick with anything. Yeah, that's probably looping your head. But what if you just implemented everything you've learned in this three part series as an experiment? What's the worst that can happen? Is the worst that can happen literally that you lose that extra 10 pounds you've gained over winter? That you finally have more energy to play with your kids after work? That you finally feel confident to wear anything in your closet and go out and feel like you're authentic? authentic core self? Is that literally the worst that can happen? Or maybe it doesn't work for you, but you're no worse off than you are now. Like what if you just tried it as an experiment? What if? And if this sounds like you, where you're like, I can't stick with anything. I'm scared that I'll be judged by friends and family if I try and I just don't succeed again. If you're just tired of being tired, but you don't think there's any other way, but there's this small, tiny little bit inside you that has hope that's like okay well you know what i think i can lose the weight i think i can get strong i think i can have more energy i can feel confident then you were meant to watch this video because that little tiny bit of hope is what's gonna move you forward and i want to help you so if you're terrified but still a little bit hopeful you're gonna book a 15 minute clarity call i'm gonna link that below so i can see if and how i can best help you lose weight get strong have more energy so you can show up confidently as yourself and heck to look and feel good naked who doesn't want that book your call below you're meant to watch this we are meant to connect last thing have I shared with you my morning and night routine that I personally use? It is ADHD friendly. I can stick to it with ease and I wanna share it with you. So click also link below, I'm gonna put it at the top there and I'm gonna personally email it off to you. It's a template that I use because I want you to go to bed feeling calm and not scrolling your phone. So you can wake up feeling energized and in control of your day. So make sure you grab that. Okay guys, see you next week. Do, 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 do. Let's do that number one again. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Do, do, do. Actually, let's do that again. Do that again. Luna, how you doing? You good? You good. Let's pause there for a hot moment. We're just redoing this a million times here. You're welcome. One moment. Cool.